All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to set up your Printio module to work with your iPad photo boot. When you buy our Printio module, module kit, it is gonna include a USB to LAN adapter, a uh, LAN cable, and your power connection. So to set this up, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our USB to LAN adapter. We're gonna connect one end of the LAN cable here just like that. The uh, other end here is gonna connect directly to your Printio module here. There's a LAN connection here. So we'll go ahead and connect that. So then that's gonna be connected this way. Now, what's not included um, and what you are gonna need to make this module work is of course your iPad. And you are also gonna need a USB hub. So this USB hub here has a USB-C connection because that's what connects to my iPad, but your iPad might have a lightning cable, cable, so make sure you get the appropriate USB that will work for your iPad. So also this does have USB-C ports, so if I wanted to power this module with just the USB-C connection, you can do that as well. But for today, I'm just gonna show you how to connect it uh, with the power cord included. All right, so now that you have your USB here, your USB hub, this part here, is gonna connect to the USB hub. Go ahead and plug that into any available port. And uh, of course, can't forget the uh, power source that connects to your module to make this all work. So that is gonna connect directly here. And then uh, this USB end will connect um, to your power source here. And that will connect to any outlet, available outlet you have, just like that. So uh, if you have your booth, if you have, if you're putting this in a booth, you can connect this to your power strip that is uh, installed inside your booth. But just for simplicity today, we'll be connecting outside the booth. So now that this is all set up, you have your power connected to your module, you have your LAN connection uh, connected and that's connected to the LAN adapter which is connected to the USB hub. Now you can grab this USB hub and you're gonna connect that directly to your iPad so it can pick up the signal. All right, now that we have all these connections here set up, now I'm going to plug in the printer. So you're gonna grab your USB connection that goes directly to your printer. The USB A end, you're gonna plug into the printer module directly here. There should be an extra available port to do so. So just like that. So all in total, you're gonna have three cables. You're gonna have your LAN, your printer USB connection, and your power cable connected to the Printio. All right, so that's all connected now. So now I'm gonna go on the iPad to check that it is getting the printer connection. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna check is I'm gonna go to my iPad settings, and I wanna see that it's picking up an ethernet connection. So perfect, so it's picking up that connection. So now that we, now from here, we're going to set up a manual IP address. So I already set that up here, but uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy this IP address and you're gonna make sure this is set to manual. You're gonna input this IP address and you're also gonna input this I subnet, subnet mask exactly how you see it here. Um, make sure it's on manual and you'll be good to go from there. So now that this is configured, the next step from here is we're gonna test the print. So we're gonna go to this website and this website is called Printio.loco, just like that. We'll go ahead and hit go. So right here, we can see that it's picked up the connection to the printer. Right here, it's gonna tell you exactly what printer you have. So right here is the RX1 2x6. This means it's gonna cut it, the strips, the 4x6, it's gonna cut the regular size print. Um, so now I'm gonna do a test print to, to check that it is uh, printing properly. So it printed right away. So the connection should be pretty instant. So awesome, it printed our two by six. All right, so now that we confirm that everything is connected properly, from here, you can go to your photo gallery and uh, print any photo you like. So to do that, you will just click on the share button on the top left, scroll down to print. Okay, and you are gonna select your printer from here. So your printer should show up here. I have an RX1, so it's saying RX1. Um, and depending if you wanna do a four by six or if you wanna do the strips, you will select that option. I'm gonna do the strips, so I'll choose two by six. 
from Sardell. Go back here, choose the two by six. From here, I'm gonna click on prints. Okay, and it should start printing right away. Okay, so I hear the printer going right now. All right, so that printed with no issue. From here, you're all set to go. If you do, do need more information on this, you can find that in the link in the description below.